Hi, I'm Timothy Manel, Senior Editor for APA Aspire Express. I'm here at the National Planning Conference in New Orleans with the authors of the first two books in our Delta Urbanism project, uh, Rich Campanella of uh, Delta Urbanism New Orleans and Han Meyer, who led the team doing Delta Urbanism in the Netherlands. Welcome, both of you. Good to see you. Thank you. How Thank did, you. You've, uh, you've just come from your session, uh, very well attended, uh, a couple hundred people in the room. Um, how, how did it go for you? Very nice. Uh, I was surprised on this early moment in the Monday morning, half past seven, and in a room full of people. So mm -hmm. there must be a lot of interest here in, uh, in the United States on Delta urbanism. Well, it's 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 it's, it's a rich topic. Uh, mm -hmm. We're finding that there, there are so many people who have a lot to say about Delta cities and the complexities of them. Uh, the, the two of you are certainly experts in uh, your, your particular areas. Um, I wonder if you could say a little about. Uh, what, what your vision of Delta Urbanism is. It's kind of a new concept. It's something that is, that is really taking shape as we speak. Um, how, do, how do you see it as, as it relates to New Orleans, Richard? Well, uh, you know, having attended some of the other Delta Urbanism sessions over the past couple of days, um, uh, to a certain extent, there are these themes that repeat in each of the presentations, and the names of the actual deltas are interchangeable. And there's the subsidence, there's the drainage issue, there's the subsidence issue, there's the uh, levees and dikes issue, there's the, the depletion of sediment in the rivers that form these deltas, leading to land loss. And then on the other side of the equation, there's these amazing, important historical cities that occupy these areas that um, we don't want to lose. So, you know, the, the delta urbanism that emerges from all these is this, this replicating pattern of, of um, incredibly important places in the face of uh, environmental threat, and um, this is humanity's great challenge for the 21st century. Han, for you, I mean, you come yeah. from a different background, obviously. Well, different, but also uh, very similar. Uh, also a delta area, the, the, the delta. And I think what you hear everywhere is that there is a general uh, shift in, in the mind, in the sense that uh, a lot of people become aware that we have to go from resistance to res resilience, mm. and to create more flexibility in dealing with water. And uh, we learn also about uh, history, and especially when you look at the historic cities, that they were able, much more than we are now, to deal with flexibility, to deal with water. And that's something which we should reintroduce to be able to, to develop sustainable Delta cities. Now, you both take a, a historical, geographical approach uh, to Delta urbanism. Um, and as you as you look over the the, the array of responses to, to the challenges of, of living in low lying areas, of, of seeing increasing populations in these areas, are you essentially optimistic um, that that uh, we now have the knowledge, we now have the ability, we now have the will to to address these things, um, or does the does the track record go in the other direction? <laughs> Uh, I would say pessimism is fatal. Uh, uh, optimism um, has the problem of potentially sugarcoating and uh, incurring complacency. Uh, so um, I, I, I think it's it's a fine line to walk. I, I, I do think that um, this is solvable, uh, yeah. and um, and by by. Uh, Finding room for the river and and moving as as Han was saying from resistance to resiliency. The way I would find the corollary in this delta is from structural solutions to non-structural solutions. Structural solutions being levees and flood walls and hard interventions, right. and non-structural ones being coastal restoration and um, uh, living with water and introducing water. And I, I sense that there's perhaps a generational shift as well in, in um, uh, planners of, of an old generation uh, and uh, younger younger planners and engineers who are looking more towards sustainability and, and uh, a long-term solution. Well, perhaps the, the, the cynical thing is that uh, a disaster like Katrina New Orleans uh, uh, seem to be necessary also to, to wake up people that something should be done and the same 
you could say in the, the, the big environmental disasters which you can see in China, the Pearl River Delta and the Yangtze Delta, they are almost completely dead. And also for the Chinese authorities, they become aware that this will become a big problem. So obviously, this kind of big events, big disasters, are necessary, and is one of the main reasons that you organized this conference, where 5,000 people from all over the world are now attending. So that's the optimistic thing, I think. Well, let's hope so. Uh, you're both busy men working on critical topics, so I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to, to talk with us. Uh, the books are Delta Urbanism New Orleans and Delta Urbanism the Netherlands, available at apaplanningbooks.com.